My name's Gary Branch, and I've got the best job in Alabama. Uh, I'm president of Faulkner State Community College. Educational enhancement has never looked so appealing. After nearly a year and a half of construction, Faulkner State Community College has opened the doors to a new John L. Borum Center for Health and Natural Sciences. The $8.6 million, 52,000 square foot facility is a valuable addition to Faulkner's Fairhope Campus, located in this quaint town on the eastern shore in Baldwin County. The fact that we're able to combine natural science and allied health science labs in one building is, is a great idea. We've done this in other colleges around the state. And the great thing about it is, is that it enables us to be able to reach out to people throughout Baldwin County and offer them very high quality science and health science um, classes in state-of-the-art um, rooms with state-of-the-art equipment. The new Health and Natural Sciences Center will house programs to include RN and LPN nursing, respiratory therapy, pre-medicine, pre-dentistry, pre-pharmacy, biology, chemistry, and other science-based programs. By adding 22 high-tech classrooms and labs, faculty offices, work centers, and a high-tech boardroom, the center has created a learning environment second to none, especially for those who will be majoring in one of the college's prestigious allied health programs. We guarantee that you will have a wonderful educational experience. We're very excited about moving into this new building in Fairhope. Uh, we have a lot of new uh, amenities for the students um, and a lot of new technology that they can use to help them in their educational journey. Um, this is one of our premier technology changes. It's an eye stand man. Um, it's a human simulator uh, and this man can do pretty much everything that you or I could do. Um, he has heart sounds and breath sounds. Um, his, has abdominal sounds, his arms have pulses in the places they're supposed to have pulses and you can start IVs on him or put NG tubes or OG tubes in. Um, his pupils dilate and constrict just like our pupils would. He can tell you if he's hurting or moan if he's hurting or in pain. Here in just a moment, okay? Hang in there with us. We can simulate him to do whatever we want him to do for the students to create a scenario for the students to see how they would act and what they would do in that situation. My name is Rebecca Bryant. I'm with Watershed Green Consulting and Education in Fairhope, Alabama. And we worked on this project as the environmental and lead consultant, working closely with the, the architect, Walcott Adams Fernil, uh, to improve the energy efficiency and environmental performance of the building, and working with the contractor to incorporate more sustainable construction practices. This will be the first lead building in the two-year system. It's only the fifth lead building in the state in the K through four year system. I was just talking to Rebecca Bryant with Watershed and she had kind of updated the statistics yesterday. So here we are in our system leading and doing things that are, that are really um, you know, pretty cool when you get to know what a lead building is. The, the biggest aspect of this building is its energy conservation. Our model shows that it'll save about 38% over a conventional building. So we're real proud of that. It uses a ton less water, 42% less water than, than a typical building. And there's a bunch of uh, uh, quality of uh, environment features in there, the, the natural lighting, the indoor air quality. And, and they're all subtle. It looks like a very traditional building, but it's really the, the way I hope our buildings will be built in the future. With environmental awareness a top priority in today's society, it is no surprise that one of the most important and unique features of the new John L. Borum Center for Health and Natural Sciences is the energy efficient LEED Silver Certification. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design and is the most widely recognized certification for sustainable design and construction practices in use today. In the building's initial stages, energy-saving features were planned to make the structure environmentally friendly, while still providing much-needed space for classrooms. Although the majority of the energy-saving aspects are behind the scenes, there are many features students, faculty, staff, and guests will notice upon entering the building, including the vast amount of indirect natural light from large windows and the automatic light sensors in all hallways, classrooms, and bathrooms. With a LEED Silver Certification, this is the first LEED certified building in Alabama's two-year college system, the first green school in Baldwin County, and the first LEED certified building in Fairhope.
This building will make a positive difference in this community, but it will also have a very small impact as far as the environmental issues are concerned. And the quality of the construction is outstanding, and the impact of that lead rating will make a positive difference for the cost factor that's involved in operating this building for the long term. While energy efficiency and academia enhancement were the focus in the construction of this building, designers also factored in student comfort by mapping out areas for socializing and personal enrichment in the contemporary style of the Sun Chief Den, which is graced by the subtle beauty of the most modern furnishings, consisting of comfortable and stylish seating groups, two 52-inch high-definition TVs, a full vending area, and a double-sided gas fireplace for the those chilly winter days. And to take advantage of the extraordinary beauty of the Fairhope campus is an outdoor patio for relaxing and studying. The, the whole building is, it is extremely impressive. The technology that is just dispersed throughout the building is amazing. Stroll through the lovely indigenous landscaping that surrounds this wonderful new building and enter into a highly innovative yet warm and inviting atmosphere that provides a learning environment uniquely designed for the college's students. The John L. Borum Center for Health and Natural Sciences is named in honor of Dr. John Borum, who is the director of the Fairhope campus and a highly respected environmentalist. The building offers the most state-of-the-art tools for faculty and students and offers a technological yet eco-friendly learning environment. The John L. Borum Center for Health and Natural Sciences is an instructional center that will serve the students for many years to come. This building will provide opportunities for many people for a long time. It uh, has the latest technology. It is a green building. It is um, uh, going to save energy. I think they said today that uh, it's going to be 38% more energy efficient than, than a regular building. So it was built with conservation in mind. And that's a very important part of education. We need to be concerned about the future. This is a long-term investment that will uh, result in a lot of good over a long period of time.